Hey guys, so if any of you saw my recent weekly pickups um, video, you guys know that I got a new game for my Nintendo DS, Nintendo S, my Nintendo DS, it's called Big Bang Mini, and um, it's basically a shoot 'em up game, you play as different various spaceships and you're shooting fireworks to take down your enemies which come across on the top screen. Um, this game is really, really fun, and it's really, really good, and the graphics look phenomenal. I think there's a lot of great colors, um, great enemies, uh, and even the music is pretty good. So, I haven't unlocked everything, but, um, because I haven't completed the, the, um, the arcade mode, but you have the t tutorial which teaches you how to play the game. Uh, you'll go on to play the arcade mode, which is basically the full game, like, you know, what the game is all about. You'll come across nine levels, and each level has nine stages, and at the end of every stage you have, uh, or at the end of every, every level you have a boss battle, and there's also bonus, bonus zones. Uh, you have the challenge mode where you play different levels for or different stages for the high score and then you can upload them to the Wi-Fi over the Wi-Fi. Versus mode, which is basically you can play against a friend and um, all you need is one game card, which is pretty cool. You have the relax mode, which I haven't unlocked, but you can play all of the bonus zones. You have the mission mode, which is I think harder than the arcade version. And uh, I don't know what that is yet, but once I beat the game... I'll figure it out. So I'll go ahead over to the arcade mode so you guys can see what this game is all about. Okay, so like I said, you have nine nine levels, and uh, each level is named after a city. So here we have the Abyss, which is underwater, um, Paris, Rio de Janeiro, which is my favorite level. Really love the art style in that, and the music. New York, Savannah, Luxor, Kamakura. Aurora in Hong Kong. Since I don't want to die and embarrass myself too much, I'm going to start off in the first level, which is Hong Kong. Now, every level has different power ups that you can use. Um, some of them might be like homing missiles, um, shields, um, things like that. It's pretty cool. This is the retro mode. The controls on the game are really cool. They're all touch based. And um, all you have to basically do. Okay, what was that? Okay. Here we go. All you have to basically do is um, stay out of the way of, you know, the line of enemy fire and uh, collect these stars so you can advance to the next stage. It sounds pretty simple, but as you progress in the game, it gets pretty hard um, and really tense because enemies just start shooting all types of stuff. So like I said, the controls are really, really accurate. Uh, all you have to do is... In order to shoot these fireworks, you uh, point in the direction you want the fireworks to go off, and it will do just that. Now, everything isn't as easy as this. This is the first level, but... Um, you know, later on, there'll, there'll be some strategy to, uh, in ways of taking out enemies. As you can see, I just beat the level. It's clear. And this is the bonus zone. This is pretty easy. You just have to connect the dots. If you can count, you'll beat it. Yay, fireworks. That's it. That's a stage. Um, I'll show you guys a, one of my favorite boss battles at the end of the Rio de Janeiro stage. Just so you get a feel of, it gets a little bit harder.
Yeah. <laughs> Try one more time. All right, we'll try one more time. Sorry, I'm sucking at this right now. All right, I'm not gonna embarrass myself anymore and continue to die, but I did beat it um, earlier today. <clears throat> but that's basically all uh, the game is. You know, it's you know your tr your traditional shoot 'em up with some flair and style to it, and it's pretty innovative just because of the controls. And you know, you can basically be anywhere on the screen and shoot anywhere just by pointing to that direction. You have your power ups, your different shields and stuff like that. It's really a blast to play. And uh, hopefully this video showed you guys what the game is all about because I know you probably go in the store and you see it and you're like, what in the world is this? But if you can afford it, it's 20 bucks. Definitely give it a, a chance. It, it's really good to pick up and play and, you know, for a stage or two and then uh, turn it off and go ahead and do whatever it is that you want to do. So I hope that this game was, this video was informative to all of you that were wondering what the game was about. And um, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.